people, 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 people. Keep pass a sad pass, see what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. First thing that is popping in the news, it is called Let's Make a Deal Gone Wrong. Now there's a soap vendor and there's a lady of the night. I guess the fact that both of them ply their trade late in the night, they decided that, listen, you out there, I take a walk, you're tired, me there, I sell soap, me na a woman in my yard. Sometimes, me need a little spruce up, a little touch up. So therefore, me give you some soap, me give you some of the soap money, and you give me some of that, meaning the pumps. However, it seems as if this lady and the Rasta soap man has been in business for a little while. However, she do not feel as if she is getting her due justice. She is not getting paid proportionately for the pumps. So therefore the Rasta man or however she still a give him some of this and he must still a give her some a little way him or however not sufficient enough. However, she still decided that listen, we're going to make a deal again, even though you kinda S C R E W E D me over literally. For a couple of months, a year or so. But me still got gear blind. So anyways, she give the Rasta man, the soap man, some P-U-M-S and people. Me no know if the Rasta man a sip on some sorts of tan panny long soap. Because based on what the woman is saying, he was on the P-U-M-S for about three hours or so. People look like say, the Rasta man under some sorts of thing. So anyways, based on the fact that she was not getting her money, she decided that she's going to take it to people's popo court and she's going to launch a complaint to the officer that was manning the police station. And people, take a listen, take a look to exactly what transpired and then I will give my peace. <laughs> And you can start and hold this on me, hold it up and this side, say my fuck me and say nigga. And I say officer see me and if you break my arm, say my freak, I broke up. Well, no, so look, I broke up. Hmm? Yeah, okay. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> you done? Am I time now? Sir, me and this man left for about 10 years. We are time. You lie, I'm not left for 10 years. Open my life. You're not left for 10 years. 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 No. Go. You see, I make my taxi, then I'm gone. I go, what? Where are you? 
Me leave, me up, me up on please, so this is sir. Okay. Right to Peru. Okay. Yeah. No, we're ready now. I need say I'm ready. So I say, give me, give me seven hundred and fifty. I'm saying no, I don't have to have to leave, man. You always have to check me out. January last year, he owed me twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand, me and him have six thousand. Hold my time. So I say. You come, so we're not going to Are you going to sell sex or what? No, we're not sell sex. We're not, we don't know what we call it, but we talk. Yeah, you know what I mean? Talk. We don't know what we call it in Jamaica. So, we talk. So, we're going to get 20,000 for sex. I don't know. Spring, January, we talk last year. And he said that it was me. You know, give me nothing. So you he promised me up saying I'll sell nothing, sir. Oh, so you add up your money. He said the soup, right? This one. He said I have the soup, sir. He said I have to pay rent and so forth. Right? So, Mr. Arab, I'm going to be here with you. Tell me if you're not good somebody, sir. I'm going to be here with you. Look at him. You can be charged. Feed up here if you're going to go for me. Well, wait now. You better give me $1,000, sir. Eh? I don't want nothing. So, you're going to go for nothing. Mr. Man, I don't grind. She has to lie now. Right now, she has to mix up here. You tell the same thing. What time is it, Mr. Sweet, that's all. Shut the street. Oh, we're not going to shut the street. I know where I'm going. We're going to shut the street. 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 We're going
the lion, which is the Rasta man, can grind some sort of back road dealer. People conflicting, but true. Only in a jam rock. Point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news is that it is a fact that Jamaica is probably one of the most violent places on planet Earth. So I say this to say that as a blogger, I think that I've seen it all. I don't think that there's anything else I could see that could eclipse, make my blood cringe or make me get any sorts of cold bump. I am almost immune or numb to everything. However, most of the time when I say people lose their life, it is usually after the fact. However, in this case, I got a couple of videos and a couple of pictures that is said to have taken place in a place called Bangridge. Based on the information, it is said that this man stole somebody's car. That person whose car he stole put out a APB meaning J-U-N-G-L-E justice APB all points bulletin for this man and the people them catch him don't know if they caught him with the car however when them catch him he was not going to have any sorts of need for that car because people i was watching two videos short videos in which them all arm pan him and them have all sorts of farm utensil and people I would have thought that it was a B-U-T-C-H-E-R shop. Watching it, well not live, but recording. Somebody recording every intricate details. In my big theme life, in my ox, Uno going to make the people K-I-L-L me and people. Nobody was saying stop. Everybody was encouraging either bring him come or don't make him escape or take him to the afterlife and people that is exactly what they did now people when the person had sent this to me people send me stuff in confidence not sure if they wanted this to go out however as a decent citizen is it my civic duty to take this to the law or should i the fact that it was sent to me in confidence Hold it and make the purple do them own investigation. I am sure that maybe they have this video too. However, people like me say, there's a message, there's a moral to all of this. You people out there that have aspiration of taking people's property, people's animals, people's car, it is not going to end up good. These people are taking their losses very, very bad. These people are planning the worst thing that they can do from one human being to a next human being. They want to make sure that you exist no more. They want to make sure that the way that they take you out, the average person cannot look, the average person cannot experience it. So therefore, Uno can say, me no want Uno. Uno can say, Uno say videos past social media, wherein the people, them, the victims, catch the suspect and what they do to them. And sometimes the poor, poor cannot save them. Persons, including myself, we are not very sympathetic because when you take people hardworking things and then you want to be selfish, and pay your bills while those persons suffer. It is not fear. So therefore, you take the people and things and them take your life. Fear exchange is no robbery. Even though it might be a crime. Point blank and period. So anyways people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos straight to the point, please show your appreciation by liking commenting sharing and subscribing to my channel that is how youtube promotes videos like these to like-minded sensible persons like yourself and last but not least whenever you are rising in life there's always going to be a set of vipers they see your potential they see that 
your ceiling is in the stratosphere when they look at themselves because of their insecurity and hate because they realize that persons appreciate them for who they pretend to be which is not who they actually are for them to feel as if they are up they are going to do everything within their means to bring you down, point blank and period.